Welcome to Esperanza Ranch in Southern Maine. This is Harry Eddy coming to you with a brand new product and it's not for motorcycles. Um, we've been making motorcycles more comfortable and better handling for years and years. But I'm going to share some, some of the things that I've been doing personally and making for myself that I'm going to start offering to, uh, to other people. And one of them is a rear view mirror update for uh, a Kubota RTV 1100C, the cab model. And uh, one of the things you don't think about until you start using a piece of equipment like this is um, when you do a lot of backing up, you need to be able to see behind you. And certainly you need to, you know, move your body and twist and look behind you, but you need outside mirrors. And uh, so let me flip this guy around. So one of the things we're going to talk about, I think uh, anyone that buys this machine, they're going to see... They, you know, you get this guy, which is okay. It, it vibrates like crazy at idle, but, you know, that's the inside rear view mirror. But the outside rear view mirror, this one, I'm six foot one. I think I've actually, I'm getting older, so I think I'm around six foot now or, or so. But you can see that this mirror is clipped pretty bad. And also the angle here is pretty severe, so I can't, I can't push that up anymore. So I'm very limited uh, to where I can put it. Um, I, it's too close to the vehicle here to, to be able to, I mean, you can push it out, but then you lose reference of the vehicle because it's too high and it's too close. And I'm going to show you what, what I came up with. Very, very simple adapter that, uh, extends this down, takes the whole mirror, brings it down and out. So you get a, a, a better perspective of that. The most common mirror that's, uh, people are using on the cab version anyways um, from Kubota uh, is this guy right here. Uh, let's see, and it is a the part number is V5059. Uh, pr pretty common mirror, and, and it's it's very cost effective, and I think that's why a lot of people are drawn to it. I believe it was like fifty five dollars plus tax. I'll just go outside and look at it real quick. It's a very simple design, and uh, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's uh, very strong. You just take out these two screws from the factory factory mount, put this uh, U shape in, and then a bolt through here. Uh, it's got some kind of very hard plastic bushings in here to keep the the paint from uh, chafing, which is very nice. Uh, the mirror is not real, real high end stuff, but it looks like it'll service for quite a while. But here's where one of the problems is. See how high this is? It, it, it's Unless you're a really short person, that's going to be an issue. And it's really too close to the side of the vehicle. So we're going to change that. So if you get a 10 millimeter wrench, you're just going to get in here and uh, just loosen this guy. And then you'll be able to take that off. So what I've come up with is this uh, aluminum adapter. It's going to lower the mirror, lower it about three inches, and it comes with the hardware. This replaces where the mirror used to be, and the mirror will now go into the bottom threaded hole. Now you can see with the adapter mounted, it's, it's no longer at this cocked angle right here. It's now perfectly straight up and down, so you have all kinds of room to be able to adjust this without any uh, interference of either the, the door itself or the mechanism that holds it. So very, very simple powder coat that we put on it. It is a urethane hybrid. So it's super UV resistant and abrasion resistant. This thing could be, branches could go over, at, you know, hit this thing many, many times to push it out of the way and uh, should survive really good. So that's what I've come up with. Um, you can either adjust it so the mirror is vertical. I actually like it in this position. Uh, 
but it's lower now so it's more in line with your eyes it's off the vehicle more so you have a better angle and I'll show you what it looks like from the inside So here it is adjusted for me. What I like about this is I can still see directly behind the vehicle. I have a wide area to see here, and I can see down right to the fender, the right at the top of the rear tire. So uh, if any of my grandkids were around, I can see them instantly. Uh, the mirror used to be up here and way too close to the, uh, the bodywork. So now I'm away, so I have a good perspective on the side of the vehicle, beyond it, and behind it. Hope this is of interest and appreciate you taking the time to look at this. Thank you.